All right, what's good, y'all? Bowser versus Eggman, bro. Ready to get into this? No talking, bro. I've been want. I'm on to see, bro. Off the rip, I have a more personal connection with sup the Super Mario franchise. I ain't gonna lie. So by default, yeah, that that nigga Bowser might be a freak freakazoid. He might be Diddy. I ain't gonna lie. He might be moving like Diddy. I ain't gonna hold you, but. My my nigga, y'all feel me? He cool. He a hey, bro. That he pretty chill when he needs to be. Bro. This nigga already being a freak ass nigga, bro. Captured Peach again. Oh, that was a fit. I've come to make an announcement. This territory is now the base for my upcoming Eggman Land Two. Oh, this nigga a certain dominant. Uh, my nigga Bowser said you not going for that nigga. You not going for that shit. Yo, this animation is crazy. Nah, this animation crazy. Bro, are they not afraid about uh, about uh, Nintendo for doing that? I, I ain't got <laughs> I ain't got lie, bro. The, hey, Nintendo will would fucking sue uh, a, a like a sick patient about for his name being Mario, bro. I'm, I'm just saying, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm guessing they got the okay. But oh, hold on, bro. What the fuck? Nigga, someone on Meteor ahead of that, boy. Oh, you learned that shit from Sephiroth? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, that shit, fuck. Oh, I ain't never see Bowser move like this, nigga. I know he's capable of it, but... Oh, they making this nigga cool as fuck, though. Oh, look at him summoning his old puss eye, nigga. Nigga trying to jump, nigga. Nah, don't fall for that, Bowser. Oh, he's up on that lane. <laughs> Yo, this shit is hype. Nah, he's up on that lane, that shit. Nigga, an imposter, bro. Nigga seen him, seen him using chat GPT and said, nah, fuck that, I'm the real deal. Uh, I love, I love seeing like his, his people like back him up. No, this is cool, bro. What the fuck? This nigga Digivolve? I didn't know he had that. Oh, it's just. Go it summoning all his niggas, bro. This nigga jumping, bro. Nah, but this is actually hype. Nah, this is well done. Fuck whoever wins, bro. This shit is so is well done, bro. Ah, oh, that's fire. Oh shit, he might be cooked. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I didn't know Metal Sonic can do all that. Bro, what? Nah, they got it, bro. Oh, I forgot about him, yo! Oh, nah, not my jet. Nah, not my, nah, nah, hey, niggas, nah. Nah, that's where y'all fucked up. Look out of here, little nigga. Oh, my God! Oh, your technologies, bro. Oh my god, is Bowser cooked? Nah. Bro, they really didn't have to go this hard, bro. They really didn't have to go this hard. No, not my goat. Not my goat, bro. Oh no, fuck that. 
And <laughs> yo, this is hype. Yo, I forgot he can do I forgot he can literally turn to like like a skeleton Bowser. Oh yeah, he's cooked. Yo, nah, that shit was hype, nigga. <laughs> that shit was hype, bro. They just up this nigga Bowser's stocks, like. Given how the Sonic series is not afraid to show how tough its cast is, while Mario's comes across as more cartoony. But as it turns out, Bowser had everything he needed to take Chrome Dome down. Strap in. This one's a lot, so we'll break it down into five categories. First up is physical stats. Bowser pretty handedly outmatched any of Eggman's. Yeah, this thing, I'm bro. This thing of Bowser is a demon in terms of strength, and he like lift a planet or on, on some crazy shit. I forgot. Egg could destroy stars, but Yoshi could match that level of power, and Bowser's strength is certainly above the green dinosaurs. Yeah, bro, they, bro. The the truth is. Sonic could have there's so there's times where Sonic could have easily killed Eggman, but you know, because of the, the nature of the game, you know, it's for kids. <laughs> and they don't want to go that far. I, I I don't I don't know, bro. But he could have easily took this nigga Eggman out of commission. Like Eggman's a brilliant scientist when it turns to like strength and power. This nigga Bowser, no matter how many times Mario does him in, he always finds a way to come back, bro. Either either as like a ghoul, like skeleton Bowser or some shit, or, or something else. Like, I don't know. That nigga is a, bro. That nigga is different, bro. Bowser's was much larger, so he may win stats, but this could change with their powers. With so many items and minions, that could make all that a moot point. Aside from power-up items, both could manipulate minds, create duplicates, and alter space-time. However, mm. Bowser had a significant edge in having access to the majority of his abilities at all times. Yeah, Eggman can do some crazy stuff, but only across different mechs, fortresses, or space bases. Bowser's all natural. He's got mm. all his best powers built in, and he ain't even a robot. Fucking gold, bruh. He He's talking about, bro. Like the metal virus and spatial displacement trap. Context matters for those. I'm sorry, I'm got. <laughs> I I know, like only screw but bro. Only death battle can have me like rooting for Diddy, bro. <laughs> only death battle. Cause that shit was hype. Bowser takes the edge in power. But definitely not for intelligence. Come on, you have a four. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, I'll give Eggman that edge. I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong, Bowser's not an idiot. Usually, just really, really clumsy. Poor fella. Meanwhile, Eggman's an engineering genius who rarely uh -huh. ever gets bested by brains. Easy dub. Now, let's talk trump cards. As in, items so powerful, they could decide the entire outcome on their own. The Phantom Ruby was super dangerous, but specifically targets perceptions. Unlike Bowser's Wonder Flower, which mucks up reality for real. The Ruby affected a whole planet, but the Wonder yeah, what the fuck? When did that happen, nigga? <laughs> what the, the fuck? You turn into a, a super egg man, bro. Problem cleaning up Super Neo Metal Sonic or Time Eater. Their most prized possessions was a tougher call. Together, the Chaos Emeralds can break the universe, but so can the Grand Stars. Arguably not as much given the Emerald scaling to Solaris, though Power Stars and Grand Stars are far more plentiful. Clearly, this is getting fairly abstract, and both had multiple options that could win the day instantly. So the safest bet is to call this category a tie. Which means it's finally mm. time to compare their armies. Eggman seems deadlier at first glance. I mean, look at all those buzzsaws and rockets. Metal Sonic's speed and power alone could solo most of the Koopa Troop, but the Eggman Empire lacks something Bowser had in spades. Teamwork and loyalty. Eggman is a notorious and, uh, hey, man. His alliances I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. Bowser, hey, Bowser's niggas be down, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas have more loyalty than Cardi fans, bro. <laughs> Like that, those niggas be out there for my mans. I ain't even gonna hold you. Even with the most dumbest antics when it comes to like Peach, and they have all those resources, you would think they'll think more than just you know kidnapping Peach. But even through thick and thin, you, they, they're still down for him. I ain't got a lot. No matter what game, bro. With Eggman, bro, I can't see that. I, I can't say the same. They're just a bunch of uh, mindless uh, chat GPT ass niggas. Like, <laughs> like they have to do what he says regardless and there's always some defaults in like the robots and shit like they're loyal but it's like eh. i ain't gonna lie but all i know uh, like bowser's army is always down 
designed to be controlled by just him. To Eggman, it's harder to command those with free will, hence his rivalry with the free-natured Sonic. Meanwhile, the Koopa Troop mm. follows Bowser because they actually like him. They, they fought with bro, bro. Hey, I hold points, you. Giving them plenty of advantages as this war progressed, like battlefield control through King Boo's magic and Bowser Jr.'s paint. And since the Koopa Troop doesn't rely that much on technology, Sage's hacking potential had little use. Also, secret weapon? Kamek is kind of busted. Canceling Metal Sonic's power copying, stealing the Phantom Ruby, and potentially swapping the Chaos Emeralds were huge game changers. Add on that Bowser and his army can use any Mario mm. power-up item, and they had millions, no, billions of combinations that the Eggman Empire just could not actively plan against. Even with Sage's millions of plans to take down the Titans, she thought them to be unbeatable, which I saw him be in that game. I don't want spoilers. I still I saw him be in that game. But yeah, we got the gist, man. Hey, my goat who I said was gonna win won, bro. I, I was at like the, the predictions. I already knew Joker was gonna be a uh, join I already knew like this it was gonna be the end result, bro. I already know Cloud was gonna be Link for the second time around. That's why they redid the fight. Y'all feel me. Now all they need to do is redo that fuck ass fight with the Tifa versus um 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 I don't even know her name. Should we do the Tifa versus uh uh Yang fight, bro? That's all I know. <laughs> they, they need to redo it. They need to do a re up on that, bro. But uh, other than that, yeah, fire animation, fire fight. This is one of the best ones. I ain't gonna lie.